Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. In this video, we will be removing and reinstalling a window regulator and motor in a 2000 Nissan Pathfinder. If you need this part or other parts for your vehicle, click the link in the description and head over to 1AAuto.com. There's uh, some screws here. We're gonna have to pull this screw out in here. There's a little cover right here. I'll take a um, straight blade screwdriver, pull this little cover off here, pull that out of the way. I can take a Phillips head screwdriver, take that out. Pull that screw out. A little cover over a screw right here. Take a straight blade screwdriver, pull that off. And we'll take a Phillips screwdriver, pull this screw out. It's a bigger screwdriver. Pull that screw out. Um, you can take some trim tools and go underneath here. Pull the sw switch cover off. Pull that out. Disconnect this electrical connector. I'm going to use a straight screwdriver. Push down on the tab. And pull it out. There's another Phillips head screw right there. Pull that screw out. Pull this trim piece off. Take a screwdriver, get underneath here, and then underneath here. Oops. So I'm trying to pry it out while I release the locks underneath here. Once that's released. slide it. It slides on right there. There's a little lip right there. That pulls out. All right, so we're going to pull this armrest up. There's some large spring clips in here. You may have to use a trim tool. Get under here. Pull up those two clips. And we can take these two screws out, Phillips head screws. You can also use a 10 millimeter socket. Pull those out. And there's push clips all around the inside of the door panel. I'm gonna take a trim tool. Uh, we sell these in kits at 1aauto.com. And in here, try to release the clips. It helps if you get right on the clip, but sometimes it's not easy to find them. Let's take this. Pry some of those out. Pry those all out. Slide the door panel up and pull it off. All right, we're going to take this vapor barrier off. I'm just going to use a razor blade to cut some of the butyl tape. We'll take these four 10 millimeter bolts out. I'll use a 10 millimeter socket. Slide 
this out. Right, I'm going to turn the key on and I'm going to hook up the window switch. Line that up and drop the window down. I need to access these bolts right here. Once I get it to that location, and I can turn the ignition switch off. Before I take the bolts out of the window, I'm going to put some masking tape up top so that I can pull the glass up and just connect it right away. Now I can disconnect these two bolts. So I'm going to support the window as I take this last bolt out. I can grab the window and push it up. When I push it up, I'm just going to use my masking tape to secure the window. I am going to use some more masking tape. And that'll hold the window for now. Uh, I used to, I like to use at least three pieces of tape. Next, I'm going to take these 10 millimeter bolts out, these four. And then for the motor, these three. This one right here, we just have to loosen it because there is a slot to slide it out of the slot. So that's good. Now I'll disconnect this electrical connector. I'll use a flat blade and screwdriver. Pull this wire connector off, just like that. Now, and I gotta release this connector from the, from that retainer that holds it in. Push that harness in there. I can take this section right here and then grab in here and we're going to grab the motor, lift it up, slide, slide this whole thing down and pull the whole motor and regulator assembly out. So now we're going to separate the motor from the regulator. Uh, we're going to use a Phillips head screwdriver on these Phillips head screws. Take these out. Once those are all out, I'm going to pull the regulator up, separate it from the motor. So whether you're installing a new motor or you're installing a new regulator, you're going to line this square gear up with that square right there, just like that. And that's lined up. You may have to turn it a little bit and we can reinstall the screws. Now 
Now it's ready to go back in the car. All right, we're gonna reinstall the window regulator. We're gonna slide it in like this. I'm gonna take that wiring harness, try to fish that through the hole right there. I'm gonna try to line up these tabs on the motor right there. When that's lined up, we can slide the regulator side over through there. And then we can start putting the bolts back in. Now that all the bolts are in, I can start tightening them down. Tighten those snug. Now I'm gonna uh, hold the window up and I'm gonna take my masking tape off because I'm gonna lower the window onto the regulator. This helps if you have a partner helping you. You wanna be careful not to drop the window while you're doing this. We'll go down. So you go down a little bit, it's a little easier to grab the glass at the top. Line these holes up and I'll grab the bolt, the 10 millimeter bolt. Get that one in. Install the other 10 millimeter bolt. We can tighten these down. Once it's tight, just a little bit more. Not too much, you don't want to over tighten it. Just snug, that's good. Once that's all set, we can reconnect the electrical connector. Push that push pin back in and then we can turn the ignition on and try it. Now before we put anything else back together, we're gonna try it and make sure it works. It goes down. And it goes up. Perfect. Put this panel on. Install all the screws first. And tighten it down with either a Phillips head screwdriver or a 10 millimeter socket. Tighten those up snug. We can reattach this vapor barrier. It should re-stick to the butyl tape. Just line it all up. Push it down.
That looks good. I'm gonna disconnect this connector before we put the door panel on for the window switch. Okay. We can take these clip tools and take these extra clips that didn't come off. Pull these all off and we'll transfer them to the door panel. So now we'll reinstall these clips into the door trim panel. And push it on and then slide it over in place. Okay, I'm gonna reinstall this door panel. We're gonna send the wiring harness through here so we can grab it later. And then install the top part of the harness of the door panel first. We'll line these clips up. When they're lined up, just tap it down. Before I put the screw in here, I'm going to put this trim piece on because it's easier to do before the screw's in there. I can get it to line up because I can move the handle back and forth a little bit depending on the direction it's going to go. Just like that. Now I can put the screws in. Start with this screw here. Snug that up. Here's the bigger. All right. Now we can put these screws in. You can use, either use a 10 millimeter socket and a ratchet, or you can use a Phillips head screwdriver. Before I snug that up, I'll get the other one started. Snug these all up. Good. Next one can install this armrest. Just click that on there. Hammer it down. We'll install this Phillips head screw right down here. Snug that up. I'm going to reinstall this window switch, install the connector, slide it on, click it down, and then these retainers right here, line these up, and then just push it down. I'm going to reinstall this cap over the screw right here. Just line it up, push it down, just like that. And then this little cover goes on this one. This little tab goes towards the outside of the vehicle. Line that tab up and then push it on. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.